Yo, what's going on guys? Back to PS4 Gamer here. In this video, I'm about to show you guys the full process of SP20 glitch from start to finish. And hopefully after this video, you guys will be able to hit the glitch. But before we go into this video, I just want to say I finally got my channel membership. And if you guys want to join, the join button will be right next to the subscribe button. And if you guys do plan on joining, you guys will get custom badges. Custom badges, that's what I meant. Custom emojis to use in live chat. And the best part about this, you know, membership is you guys will get the notification of your name and your profile picture just like this. And I might add more to this, you know, notification in the future, but let's see how it goes. And if you guys can't join, it's all good. Just subscribe, and that would mean a lot to me also. And now, let's get to this glitch. So first thing, you want to tell your friend to start invite-only session, go into Titan of a job, and be on setting screen. Then you guys want to tell your friend to, you know, create a party chat, invite you guys to that party chat, and click on play together, and send you an invite through party chat. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So my second account is already in party chat, and they already invited me. I mean, I invited myself. I'm using second PS4. But anyways, you guys want to get the invite from here. So this is the invite that you guys want, okay? Once you guys have that set up ready, what you want to do is you guys want to get one star on yourself. And some of you guys are having problems getting the first alert message. That is because if you guys double tap X on choose character really fast, you guys will get the white screen. If you guys are too slow, you guys will end up in choose character on GT Online. But if you guys do it like between, you guys will get the alert message. So let's get to this glitch and let's get it on our first try. So you guys want to get one star on yourself, and as soon as your character hands go up, you want to hit option button. Okay, you better chill. And then you guys want to go over to online tab, go over to choose character, and from here, you want to hit PS button, disconnect your internet, and go back to GTA 5. Alright, so now if you guys hit up and down, you guys will see the background options and all you want to do is just keep on hitting up and down and hover over choose character and if it sits on choose character for some time like for some seconds then you guys are good to go to next step all right so i think this is good enough then you guys want to double tap yes button to go back to internet we connect and right when you guys see you know connected to online you want to double tap x on choose character There you guys have it. First try alert message. And now you want to hit PS button and you want to join that friend and invite only session. Once you guys join, you want to accept this alert message, accept the next one and the third one. So this is the third one, you want to hit PS button again, go back to that invite that you guys got. So this is the invite right here, join, and you want to ignore this alert message right here. Do not hit X on it. Alright, so so far, so good. And now you just want to wait on this, you know, screen for about a few seconds. I think it's one minute or something, but just wait on it and you guys should load into GT Online. Okay, so while you guys are going down, you guys want to tap, I mean, you guys want to spam X. Just keep on spamming until you guys are back in the clouds. And I got it on my first try. So you guys want that alert message. And instead of, like, kicking you back to story mode, you guys should get that alert message. And it will go back to the Titan of a job. And this is what you guys want. Alright, so once you load into Titan of a job, now you want to tell your friend to leave this job and start a new Titan of a job. Alright, so after your friend leaves Titan of a job, now what you want to do is 
tell them to start another Titan of a job, you guys want to confirm settings, hover over play button, hit PS button, go to notifications, and you want to go to their old and white. So this was done white for me. You want to click that, and right here, you guys want to join, and after that, you guys want to hit X on play. And you guys will get the, you know, alert message, are you sure you want to launch? And you want to accept that. Right when you accept it, you guys will get the second alert message saying, are you sure you want to join session? At that time, you guys want to tell your friend to leave Titan of a job. And when they leave, you guys want to accept that alert message also. And then you guys will see Michael, Franklin, or Trevor. And in the clouds, you guys will get another alert message. You guys want to simply hit X on that. And then you guys will be able to load into GT Online and be able to do RP glitch, frozen money, and also bring modded cars on to GT Online. So now, let's go. Join, hit X, are you sure? Yes. Second alert message, tell your friend to leave. Oh my freaking controller, yo. And I think I still got it. So I'm just gonna accept that alert message. Please charge your controller, don't be like me. If you guys do mess up, it will be, you guys will be as well. So I finally, I still got it. You guys can see quitting session and it will take some time to load into GT Online. Alright, so first part successfully completed. I mean, I did have a mini heart attack due to the controller, but um, I got it. So now what you want to do is, you guys want to hold touchpad, and it should be glitchy just like this. So you guys want to first thing is first, enable asset mode. Alright, so once you guys do that, now it's time to find Piyote Plant. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Alright, so this is the Piotti location I will be using. So all you guys want to do is hit right on, you know, right on D-pad. And once you guys see the animation for the eating Piotti, you want to find new session right away. Okay, so once you guys spawn a new session, you guys will have something like this and to fix this you want to hit options go to mission and you want to start tighten up a job and simply back out all right so once you guys back out same thing over hold touchpad enable passive mode and now you guys want to hold touchpad again and you want to make sure that you guys have frozen money so to check that you guys want to go to inventory ammo and you want to buy something and there you guys have it I'm good so now what you want to do is you guys want to hit options you guys want to go to start a pack and you want to buy whatever you guys like click anywhere basically click the home button and pretty much I have everything on GT Online. So just for the video purpose, I'm going to buy a new car. So I will be replacing this right here. And you guys can see, did not lose anything. So once you guys buy that, you guys want to wait for the notifications to pop up. And now what you want to do is, now it's time to do unlimited RP glitch. And for this, I will be using this location right here uh, there is like playing cards 2000 RP per second or more I'm not sure and there's a you know job close to it we can use and let's get to that location what? and here we are so if you guys want to use this job the link will be in the description for PS4 and Xbox one so this job right here was created by Bron Tango so I just wanted to say that and now it's time to do the glitch so you guys can see the playing card and look at that 
it's insane. The glitch is still working fine and it's crazy. So once you guys stop earning RP, all you guys want to do is hit right on D-pad here. And sometimes the job will kick you out. But if it doesn't, simply leave and do the same thing over. Rinse and repeat. Alright, so saving method for the RP glitch and the uh, things that you guys bought. So, to save the cars, first you want to kill your character. So let's do that right now. Alright, so once you guys kill your character, now you want to go to every garage that you guys bought the cars in. And you want to swap those cars with other cars and it should save. And then you guys want to change your outfit and you should get the orange circle and you guys are good to go. For the RP, you guys want to kill your character so we already did that. And then you want to simply rob a store, make sure you guys get the RP from robbing a store. And this way you guys will save the RP and the cards that you guys bought. And yeah man, that is pretty much it and you guys can see I got the RP from robbing a store. And yeah, that's all. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And let's change the outfit and save this. Alright, so you guys can see the circle right there. And yeah, man, that is pretty much it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.